Hey guys, here we go into another quick boxing short, and we're gonna be looking at a little bit more Mayweather's craft here. And as he, as a Patton approaches the line here, you can see him use his right glove here to try to catch Mayweather's lead hand. Just as he's about to cross the line and get into a position where he's gonna be hit by the jab or has the potential to be hit by the jab, he looks to control that space with his right glove, so Mayweather doesn't have an opportunity to hit him. Now. As he comes to a similar position here, you can see him bring his gloves up as he enters the line, and Ricky Hatton expecting a jab to the head from this position is not expecting a jab to the body, okay? Now let's take a look at Mayweather's position, kind of on the back foot. His head is gonna be on this side of Ricky Hatton's head, and then he shoots the jab to the body. He's gonna show Ricky Hatton a very similar position, okay? And now Ricky Hatton has to decide whether this is going to be, again, a jab to the head, a jab to the body because he had been expecting a jab to the head. Now he's seeing the jab to the body. Or is it going to be a straight right hand, a lead right hand from this position, kind of on the back foot, that he has to contend with now? So again, he, had, he doesn't get hit by this punch, but the idea that Mayweather can make all of these attacks from this position gives Mayweather some kind of safety because when he shoots the jab, his head is here. So if there's a counterpunch coming, it has to go to this zone. And that means that Ricky Hatton has to be in position to attack this place. And then from this position, if he goes from the back foot and he shoots a right hand, he's going to transfer all his weight to the front foot. As you can see here, his weight crosses the line. Now it's no longer on Ricky Hatton's left side. It's on Ricky Hatton's right side. And now Ricky Hatton has to be in a position to attack a different place. So now he has to attack the front foot instead of the back foot. And Ricky Hatton has to somehow manage whether or not from what position Mayweather is going to be in, which counter he's going to try to set up. But he doesn't know where what position Mayweather is going to be in. So just a little bit of craft, a little bit of defensive craft there. Um, as being a defensive fighter is often much more difficult uh, than being an offensive fighter on average because you're reacting. Uh, but Mayweather is able to kind of turn that on its head a little bit um, simply by having uh, multiple attacks from a single position, uh, multiple attacks that he feels comfortable throwing from a single position. Um, so just a little bit of food for thought and a little bit of craft. Um, and yeah, and uh, again, we're going to be watching Ricky Hatton fight Mayweather on Patreon today. Um, so these are just some quick clips I wanted to show. Um, and if you're interested in checking it out, it's 10 bucks a month, $10 to sign up. And yeah, there's just tons and tons of film studies and we just keep putting more and more out. So um, yeah, check it out.